Well, I was the art director on Ghostbusters. My father was the production designer. And I had the privilege of pretty much managing up what happened at Warner Brothers in terms of the set construction. And the challenge from a design standpoint was this notion, another pillar of design that I talk about, was called connectivity. We connected some pieces and parts here that uh, really put this building together that never existed anywhere in the world. The lower part of the building on Central Park West did exist. The center section of the building was done through match out work and a miniature. And the top portion of the building was built full size on stage 16 at Warner Brothers. And so these three elements were put together. There was a fourth element, and that was the street had to blow up. And the New York Police Department wouldn't let us do that, naturally. So uh, we built on the back lot of Warner Brothers the lower floor of this lower building, a duplicate. And we dug big pits, and we put hydraulics in the pit. And so when you see that, that street erupt, that's all happening in Los Angeles in Warner Brothers. Then we made fiberglass casts of those pieces, shipped them to New York, and laid them on the street so that we could continue to intercut between the real building and the erupted sequence that we had shot in Los Angeles. So here we had a lower street actually in New York. We had a lower street actually in Los Angeles. We had a middle section of the building that was a beautiful miniature done by Richard Lund and mat shot work. We connected to that in this center section, Dana's apartment. You may recall how Dana's apartment exploded. Uh, built that on a stage at Warner Brothers. And put all these connected pieces and parts together to create this single building, which in my mind became a, a character in the film. This goes central, Gozier's headquarters, uh, was a magnificent narrative environment. I say magnificent not because it was beautifully designed, but because it played such an important role. Try thinking about the story without it. Try imagining Ghostbusters without this building in it. Uh, and the connecting pieces. Tully's apartment where the, the terror dogs come flying out of. And that hallway that I built on stage six. And her apartment. All of those pieces were in almost different geographies. Even down to the firehouse, which exterior was done in New York in the interior was done in Los Angeles. So this film, if you're going to study the connectivity of how to put together pieces and parts of a set to create a unified whole and to create a, an object that really reinforces the narrative environment of the film is probably one of the best that I think you could select.